Hello friends, in this video, I will discuss about flaps and slats, what are their purposes and how do they work. Flaps and slats are high lift devices fitted at the trailing edge and leading edge of the wing. They increase camber and in most cases surface area of the wing to provide more lift and drag and helps aircraft to reduce takeoff and landing distance. They also reduce the stalling speed of the aircraft. As you can see in this picture, in cruise configuration, both the slats and flaps are fully retracted and in takeoff and landing configuration, the slats and flaps are extended. So by this extension of slats and flap, the camber of the wing is increased and hence the lift and drag produced by the wing is increased. Trailing edge flaps. Trailing edge flaps is a high lift device consisting of a hinged panel or panels mounted on the leading of the trailing edge of the wing. When the flaps are extended, they increase the camber and in most cases, the cord and surface area of the wing resulted in an increase of both lift and drag and a reduction of the stall speed. As by the lift formula, which is half rho v square s into cl, where rho is the density of air, v, is, v square is velocity, s is the surface area and cl is the coefficient of lift. So by increasing the camber of the wing, the coefficient of lift can be increased and, by, and hence the lift is increased. These factors result in an improvement in takeoff and landing performance. Here in this picture, you can see three modes are given. Cruise mode where the flaps is fully retracted, takeoff mode where the flap is partially extended and landing mode where the flap is fully extended. This is because the extension of the flap increases both lift and drag and in cruise mode there is no need of extra lift and drag so that the flap is fully retracted. During takeoff mode there is a need of extra lift but not so much drag so that the flap is partially extended to provide sufficient lift with less drag and helps aircraft to take off at a shorter runway. During landing there is a need of extra lift as well as drag so that the flap is fully extended to provide sufficient lift at low speed with a large drag to decrease the landing rolls of the aircrafts. There are many different flap designs and configuration in use. Some of the most common flap designs are plane flap. In plane flap, the rear portion of the wing aerofoil rotates downward on a simple hinge arrangement mounted at the front of the flap. This downward movement increase the camber of the wing and hence the lift and drag produced by the wing is increased. This flap is mainly used on low speed aircrafts. A split flap. In a split flap, the rear portion of the lower surface of the wing aerofoil hinges downward from the leading edge of the flap while the upper surface remains immobile. As you can see in this picture, the split flap gives more lift as compared to plane flap but it creates more drag due to the extra disturbance of the airflow around the wings. Slotted flap. It is similar to the plane flap but incorporates a gap between the flap and the wing to force the high pressure air from below the wing over the upper surface of the flap. This helps to reduce boundary layer separation and allow the airflow over the flap to remain laminar. The slotted flap increases lift coefficient more than plane and split flap. This flap design is mainly used on modern aircrafts. Faller flap. It is a split flap that slides rearward level for a distance prior to hinging downward. It thereby first increases cord and wing surface area and then increases camber. This produces a flap which can optimize both takeoff and landing performance. This flap gives the greatest increase in lift with least drag because of the slots and reduction in thickness. This type of flap or one of its variations are found on most large aircrafts. Leading edge flap or we can say Kruger flap. A Kruger flap is a type of high lift device that is deployed from the lower side of a wing around the leading edge. It is also known as a leading edge flap or a nose flap. A Kruger flap is typically cut out of the cruise wing geometry without affecting the wing surface near and above the leading edge. Therefore, unlike a conventional slat, a Kruger flap is stoved 
and is stored in the lower side of the wing and hence it does not introduce surface discontinuities that cause early transition to dis to turbulence on the top surfaces there are actuators which extend the flap down and forward from the under surface of the wing thus increasing the wing camber which in turn increases lift slats slats are extendable high lift device on the leading edge of the wing of some fixed wing aircraft their purpose is to increase lift during low speed operation such as take off initial climb approach and landing they accomplish this by increasing the surface area and camber by deploying outward and drooping downward from the leading edge in contrast kruger flap which increases wing camber by extending panel from the lower surface of the wing when the slat is extended it creates a slot and the high pressure air from the lower side of the wing goes to the upper side of the wing and reenergizes the boundary layer and helps to delay stalling so this is all about flaps and slat fitted on the aircraft wing hope you understood please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you for watching